All right, so we're at Squatter Pub's Brewery, and I'm here with James. James is the, I don't know your title, but you seem like a hippie. Is that true? I'm not a hippie. <laughs> What's your title? Director of Environmental and Social Responsibility. Well, what I do for Squatter's Pub Brewery is I, I look at what we practice here is called triple bottom line economics. So we practice uh, a different type of an economic model where we don't just measure how much profit we make, but we look at how everything we do in our business model affects people, planet, and profit. So we measure each item three times or three different times. So we look at each decision we make in the company and how that impacts our community, our customers, how it impacts our local environment, the global uh, environment, of course, and then also how much money we make. So we gotta stay profitable in order to do these good things. We uh, try to utilize products that eliminate plastic. We have a uh, plant-based straw, for instance, that doesn't have any petroleum content. Our, our to-go items are made with a very renewable resource. Uh, it's called Bogasi, which is basically sugar cane. And uh, when you make sugar from sugar cane, you have a leftover pulp, and that pulp can be pressed into a, uh, a sort of paperboard-like uh, process, and it's a secondary product, so it's very sustainable. And I was in the bathroom uh, doing my Bag Monster thing, and I saw this sign about bottles, and I, it really makes me think that Salt Lake City is not the place for me. So tell me about this bottle thing. Uh, well, there, there was a gigantic bottle, uh, bottle ball that represents how many bottles Americans throw away in six seconds. And um, it, it was incredibly large, very heavy, difficult to move around. And we tell that story so people can kind of understand what it means when they purchase plastic disposable bottles versus something that's a little bit more reusable, like a aluminum or a Nalgene refillable bottle. So we try to educate customers when we can get their attention for a few moments at the urinal. So, that doesn't sound very good for bag monsters. It, it sounds like a very, a very, uh, it sounds like people like you might kick me out of the town. Is that true? Well, we, we certainly welcome your activism for sure. And uh, even in Park City, they're trying to eliminate plastic bags. So I feel like even though Utah is a red state, we are uh, um, progressive in some ways, uh, looking at increasing the quality of life here in Salt Lake City by you know, making our choices easier and, and trying to educate the customers that come through our door and to, to show them that there's better choices out there than just you know plastic. Uh, the best way to describe sustainability or being green is, is about being efficient and being cost effective and looking at opportunities where you can develop processes that save money. The other thing I like to talk about is called cooperative competition. And cooperative competition is when somebody wants to sell you something that they've just invented or they think is the best product around. And you may want to buy this product. For instance, a green product, say organic ketchup. Well, Heinz really wanted to sell organic ketchup to restaurants, but they were having a lot of t trouble getting into the market because it costs more than making conventional ketchup. Well, organic ketchup is much better for you because it doesn't have cornstarch in it. And it tastes better. So we wanted our customers to have it. So I said to Heinz, well, listen, we'll carry your product if we can negotiate a price contract for everything we buy Heinz, like our mustard. So we worked out a deal where they gave us a little bit of a discount on everything that we purchased from Heinz that made it affordable. So we ended up saving money and having the opportunity to deliver this awesome product to our customers. That's how easy it is. Save money, great products, everybody's happy.